Well, that was a busy day, wasn't it? I'm back. This time I'm back with some more Grimsby news. Transfer Tuesdays hit again. And as many people have already seen, I'm sure, um, any of the Grimsby fans would have seen that um, Grimsby haven't made one. They haven't made two. They've made three signings today. Three. I don't know what they're having at the... I don't know what they've got in the coffee in there, but... Can I have some, please? Um, and uh, it's been a hectic afternoon. It didn't actually start till uh, around about four o'clock, and then we got three in about two hours. Um, so I think I might as well just crack on and explain who these guys are, aren't I? Um, well, the first one we've got is a Portuguese... Uh, Portuguese under-19 international, uh, Rico Souza is the uh, first guy through the door. He has got some, um, he's a winger. He has got some experience in the uh, football league. He has played for clubs such as Tranmere and also Accrington Stanley. Uh, he's joined us from uh, Darlington um, in the Conference uh, North, uh, in the National League North. There we go, anyway. <laughs> Um, he looks like a very tricky winger, a very pasty winger. Um, someone that really could probably get the crowd up and uh, up and at them, shall we say, and uh, really excited about some of the uh, football that's going to be played. Uh, he is 26, so he uh, it's a good age for a winger, I think. Now. It's a good age for a winger. And Eric is is very, very... Um, very excited to be here, which is which is a real, real good thing. And I'm looking forward to see what this guy does. Uh, like I said, having um, having some good experience in the uh, in the in the lower leagues in England, he has obviously played abroad as well. Um, but no, that's a very, very interesting start to the business of this transfer Tuesday. Uh, then we're going to uh, Michi Fete. Now I've heard this name um, vaguely before. And I thought I did because he was in the Norwich U team. Um, of course, we know a couple of players that we've had from Norwich. And other players that he's also played played with as well. Such as Reese Hall Johnson and things like that. Um, well, he signed for us uh, from Wealdstone. Who uh, had a cracking start of the season last season. But seems to have uh, they, they trailed off near the end. You know, they, uh, I think I think all the uh, all the COVID problems, all, all, all the virus problems, uh, came back and sort of bit Wealdstone. Um, so we are sort of in a you know, he's a right back, which is what you know, which is something that we were lacking last year. So it's good to finally get a right back. He's he's uh, twenty four. He, uh, again, he seems very, very enthusiastic. Uh, I don't know about you, Grimsby fans, but aren't these signings coming out the blue? You know, all, all I'd say on that, of course, is don't expect this every Tuesday. But while it's happening, why not? But I don't think this will happen every Tuesday. But transfer Tuesday is becoming for Grimsby. Uh, I'm looking forward to this guy as well. He, he, um, he seems like a sound lad. And he sounds like, you know, he he really wants to be here. And it looks like um, uh, Hurst's uh, target is to get promotion. Uh, that's what both, uh, well, all three of these lads have basically said. Uh, that seems to be Hurst's aim. So we'll see, uh, we'll see if that comes out. Um, like I said, he started at uh, Norwich and he's moved to us from Wheelstone. He said that's kind of made him know that he's ready. That he's ready to step up to this level. So, uh, Michi, hopefully it um, goes well for you. I uh, look forward to seeing you over pre-season and this coming season. And the final signing is, again... Someone that, that's not really been spoke about. Uh, but we've finally got an experienced forward in the door. And it's Ryan Taylor. He's a 33-year-old forward. Uh, he's signed from Newport. Again, Podge has, had, uh, Podge has had a little bit of something to do with this move. 
Oh, Padre, how we miss you. Um, and he's uh, he's uh, helped us uh, get this deal. And actually, David Long King, who we uh, signed last week for me, Paul. Uh, <laughs> apparently, Ryan, Ryan and Podge uh, both uh, gave a, a raving reference for, for David as well. So it's uh, it's all looking good. I mean, the previous clubs. This is our experience uh, that Ryan is. He started his career at Rotherham, surprisingly with the gaffer, as he put in an interview that shows how old he is. Uh, you know, so he started out with the gaffer, and he's gone on to play for clubs such as Portsmouth, uh, Burton Albion, Exeter City, and uh, a few others as well, and, and Plymouth. In fact, um, the year Plymouth um, got old running promoted from League Two, I think it was in 1718, he was in the side that had to get the win here to win the league and couldn't do it. And we got a 1 1 draw that day. So Ryan, uh, he scored around about 60 goals in his entire career. And people might say, oh, well, that's not, you know, that, that's not the, the deadliest goal score. But it's an experienced head, which I think you always need up front as well. And you've got Lenny there. And we know, we know Lenny can score goals. And um, I think it could be a, a big season for Ivor Jackson as well. But he's definitely going to be a, um, a useful uh, signing for the squad. Um, uh, so Chris Doig says so uh, let's just see how it goes well, um, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to all three of these these intrigue me because they don't, they don't seem what you call like standout signings or that you probably think oh um, this is going to be uh, ooh, that's, ooh that really stand out to me they seem like solid um, well thought out signings these um and you, you can tell that, that Hurst has put his homework in. Apparently he contacted all these last week. I mean, that, that, I mean that, just, that just tells you how sort of um, ahead of the curve, I think, that, that Hurst he is at the moment. So it's going to be good to, um, to see uh, what goes on and how these lads embed over pre-season. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to see what they actually do and what they're able to achieve. Uh, one other bit of business where the, uh, where the club's concerned, uh, the fixtures will be announced. We finally know a date for the, uh, for the fixtures. They will be on July the 7th at 1 o'clock. The fixtures are coming out. So... Look out for them. Now, who would you like us to start the season with? Who would you like us to start the season with? Obviously, I think every fan, I think we all agree, we'd love to be at home. First game of the season, I think. Um, but then again, I'm sure every single club wants to start the season at home, especially after the season that everyone's had. Um, have you got a, a choice as who you'd pick? Uh, I think if I was to pick one... I'm going to go left field because everyone's going to probably say, you know, I think, I think I'd like to, I'd like to play Wrexham first game of the season here. You know, that, that would be a, that would be a cracking game to open your season with Wrexham at home, I think. So things are just slowly coming together, aren't they? And I think maybe, you know, about a week or so, the lads will be back in pre-season training and, uh, the first fed will be right around the corner the way it's going so that's this video what do you think of the three signings are you happy with them are you a bit surprised by them I, is there some people that are disappointed by them let me know and what do you think about the uh the fixture release date what do you think of that are you looking forward to it now are you getting more excited now let's see what happens here we go I'll see you guys soon. Like, subscribe, comment on this video. Let me know what you think. And if we've got any Dyington fans or, or Newport fans or, or uh, Portsmouth fans even that can remember uh, Ryan Taylor, um, what are we getting? You know, what would you say we're getting? I've heard some say, you know, he's 
he's not all he's cracked up, up to be the way I look at it is uh, I think he'll just complement the uh, the forwards that we've got and I think it could be uh, it could be a good signing but anybody from these clubs uh, the players that we've got them from what do you think of them are they good signings um, are, are we not to be too sure who knows let me know and I'll be back soon with another video. I'll see you soon, guys.